Linus Tech Tips coverage of CES 2015 is brought to you by Phantom Glass. Visit store.phantom.glass for the best darn screen protectors out there, as well as HyperX. So Seagate slash Lassie's demo might seem like an odd place to kick off our CES coverage, but they've got some stuff inside that looks pretty cool. It all starts here, though, with their living logo thing. Actually, that's exactly what they call it. Sweet, I got it right. So a living logo is their like patented idea of having their, their new corporate logo, and I'm going to try and do this. There we go, there it is, as like a, a living visualization of the data from a particular feed. Let's say Instagram, Twitter, New York Times. You punch it to change. Ah, I just changed over to Twitter. So if I tweet a picture of my bum, in theory, I can get it to show up on that screen if I use the right hashtag, but they've asked me very nicely not to do that. So Seagate's marketing for this is seven, seven, I seven it seven out of seven, I think, or something along those lines. It would have sounded a lot better if this was an eight millimeter thick drive, but it is unfortunate seven millimeters thick. Now what they've done to achieve this is they've gone with a five millimeter design drive. So that's a 500 gigabyte capacity. And then by using a very unique one mil thick on either side steel enclosure, they've managed to achieve the same drop rating resistance and all that stuff. They told me I could drop it. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want to do that on a drive any more than you absolutely have to, as their regular drives, which are typically anywhere from twice as thick or even more. What's really cool is that for contrast, they've actually got right next to it. So here's the five millimeter drive that powers this bad boy. This is a 35 year old drive that is five megabytes that is obviously a lot thicker than five millimeters thick. It's powered by a standard four pin Molex, goes to show you that power connector has been around for a while. But other than that, this thing is completely alien looking technology to me. And this was manufactured for IBM way back 35 years ago. I mean, some of this stuff is hand done. There's hand soldered wires on the bottom of this drive. Pretty freaking cool. I geeked out over this one. Over here, we've got some consumer and prosumer stuff. So first up is the personal cloud, which is available in a one bay or two bay configuration. And the objective here is something that I've seen attempted many times, but rarely with much success. So basically the idea is you've got either one or two drives. The dual drive one will automatically be configured in RAID 1 for your protection. And what it'll do is it'll allow you to select folders and have those ones back up to a cloud-based storage. It'll allow you to stream to something like a Roku, for example, or a Chromecast, so you can manage all your media on your TV in that regard. And the last one is that it actually backs up all of your PCs and even things like phones and thumb drives if you configure it all within their app. Of course, I haven't tested any of this, and maybe Seagate will uh, give us a chance to check it out because it sounds pretty good. The other consumer -y thing that we've got here is an update to their previous generation wireless streaming drives that's not so much uh, newer and faster and more amazing, but definitely more affordable. So this is simply named the Seagate Wireless. And uh, Lord forbid they ever release anything else that's ever wireless ever again, because that's going to get really confusing. But pretty much it streams to three devices. It's got 500 gigs of storage, and it's got a very friendly look to it. Lasts for about six to eight hours on battery, according to the folks here. Now, the next one we've got is actually more of a product update than, strictly speaking, a, a whole new idea. The Lissi Rugged Raid, which is more of an update to their previous single drive product. And I guess I kind of gave away what exactly they changed about it. This is a dual drive, rugged drive version. It's not exactly, strictly speaking, consumer. This is more for your prosumers, but it's got a couple of cool features. So aside from having two hard drives inside, it's got Thunderbolt or USB 3, and Thunderbolt requires no auxiliary power. It is completely bus powered in order to run it off of Thunderbolt, although for USB 3, you will need an additional power adapter. And it's got a hardware RAID controller inside, which means you can configure it in RAID 0 or RAID 1. Although I'd say if you're so concerned about your data that you're buying like, you know, an inch and a half thick rubber enclosure for it. You should probably be running RAID 1 so it stays nice and safe. And here's the star of the show. This is the Lassie Mirror and it kind of breaks the mold a little bit. When I say mirror, I don't mean redundancy, and it's not particularly thin, and it's not particularly rugged, like the other stuff they were showing off. This one is all about style, so it's not targeted at me, and I wouldn't be able to, with a straight face, say, thanks to the $600 that Lassie slipped
slipped into my back pocket, I endorse this drive. For me personally, this is not going to be the ticket because I'm more about looking at the cost per dollar part of the equation as opposed to the, does this thing look amazing on my desk? Even the box itself like opens in this unique way. So it's not really targeted at me because it's a $280 one terabyte drive. But what it is, is it's something that feels a little bit different than a typical hard drive. That's what they were going for. And I'd say mission accomplished, you guys. The one thing I certainly appreciate is that even though it's a shiny piece of technology, they've got Gorilla Glass on it. So it should be slightly more fingerprint resistant than most shiny things. Although that doesn't mean that they don't include a uh, cleaning cloth in the box. And it doesn't mean they don't want have one here handy at the kiosk to keep these things all shined up. So my lovely assistant here from Lassie has been showing us around to all the, you know, bare drives and external drives. And uh, suddenly I, I blurted out, well, can you show me your racks? And she kind of goes, what? I, I'm, I'm sorry if I made you really uncomfortable because what I actually meant was these racks. Yes, over here. This is the stuff that I really geek out over. They've got the business storage four bay rack mount NAS. So this is, I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. I told them they should have an easier name for it. They should call it like the, the tiger claw or something like that. But basically it's uh, a four bay business NAS. And then they've got one down here that I personally am interested in for the first time as far as anything Thunderbolt goes, because I'm more of a, of a 10 gigabit ethernet kind of guy. But this right here is the Lassie 8 Big Rack Thunderbolt 2 thing. So basically what you can do is it's eight drives per one U. You go ahead and rack mount these, and then you can actually daisy chain up to six of them together, which is going to give you 40 eight drives potentially on a single pooled array. And then what you can actually do is use a little Mac mini as a gigabit ethernet uh, network share for it. So it's not just limited to Thunderbolt access. You can also actually share it over the network. It's still not quite what I'd want. I would like to see every shared resource have 10 gigabit connectivity to every computer, but it is a huge step in the right direction. And if you're looking for something that is just wicked, crazy, stupid, fast, this is pretty much it. They had files copying on here at three gigabytes per second, which is going to be enough, not just for an individual user, not just five users, but you could run many, many users off an array like that at a time. So I think that pretty much wraps it up for Seagate and Lassie. Thank you very much for being a uh, good sport about that, that whole business there. I'm very sorry. Well, thanks for coming, Linus. So I just want to take a moment now to thank our sponsors for allowing us to be here at the show. It's Phantom Glass, so the ultimate protector for your phone. I should probably hold up my phone when I do this. Gorilla Glass 3 protectors that go on over your phone. They've got a nano coating, so you'll have absolutely no bubbles, guaranteed every time, as well as HyperX. Make sure you check out the HyperX YouTube channel. They've got a lot of great gaming content on there. You guys aren't going to want to miss it. So that's store.phantom.glass and HyperX on YouTube. You'll find links to those in the video description below. Don't miss any of our CES coverage. So make sure you're subscribed so all those videos come into your feed just like that. It's like how the internet works. It's a bit of a simplistic explanation.